Hello, can you hear me? I can hear you, Xavier, can you hear me? I can, thank you so much. Yeah, of course, thank you for having me. It is our pleasure, I'm ready to get started if you are. Yeah, anytime you're ready. All right. Recording in progress. Well, back to school season is here and we all know that that tech is really more important than ever. So here to share some of her expertise, we have tech expert Trisha Hirschberger here with us. Trisha, it is so great to have you with us. Xavier, thank you so much for having me today. It's great to be here. Well, you know, oftentimes I think for parents, they look at tech as a thing that divides them between them and their kid. So for parents watching as they're getting ready to go back to school time where they're already spending less time with their kids, what advice do you have for really kind of bridging that divide and allowing them to still have that together time? Well, when it comes to back to school, I feel like we're all trying to eke out those last precious moments together, those last precious moments of summer. So why not make the most of it by letting the iRobot Roomba i3 Plus robot vacuum cleaner clean up the mess at home. Summer comes once a year and always goes by way too quickly. So thanks to iRobot's genius software, the Roomba i3 Plus gets smarter over time, offering personalized cleaning schedules and helpful suggestions. It features a patented dual rubber brush design to pull in dirt and pet hair across hard floors and carpet. And for those who do have pets, the robot's high efficiency filter traps 99% of cat and dog allergens as well. And the best part, in my opinion, it even empties itself when it's done cleaning. It doesn't get much easier than that. Now I'm talking specifically to the college students who might be living in dorms this year and need some help keeping that dorm room clean, am I right? <laughs> That's actually perfect, because I think the last thing we think about in college is vacuuming the floor. <laughs> I think that's definitely the case. So whether you're a parent looking to make the most of the last moments of summer, maybe take the load off you while you're prepping for back to school, or a college-bound student looking to keep that dorm room clean, the iRobot Roomba i3 Plus has you covered. Let's talk some of the, the tech students are using right now. What's some of the latest things you've seen in the world of, of students getting into the tech world? Yeah, so for in-classroom tech, I'm seeing a lot of buzz around the Kodak Luma 400 portable HD smart projector. This is particularly fantastic for presentations. So it's pocket sized, but is equipped with 1280 by 720 P native resolution, supporting 4K, allowing you to project on a screen up to 150 inches. So indoor classroom presentations, outdoor classroom use cases, you're covered. It comes with a tripod, allowing you to set it up anywhere you'd like. And the projector has Android 9.0 smart operating system, which allows you to stream from your favorite apps when all that homework is done. It really is quite fantastic. Um, another service that I'm seeing used a lot for in-classroom use, especially with so many people connecting digitally, is Slack, which is funny to me because I often think of Slack for corporate or office use cases, but over 3,000 higher education institutions are now using Slack to keep classes and campus affairs running online. Slack is easy because it integrates with the tools that students and faculty already know how to use from video conferencing and file sharing to learning management systems and more. And with all of these resources and communication in one place, Slack can keep students engaged and connected even if you are learning remotely, which is perfect for this year. Students can ask questions, stay informed on class or project-based channels, and professors can keep the conversation going with virtual lectures and online office hours. I think Slack is, is really, really up there right now for top tech for students. Yeah, you hear more and more about Slack. Let's talk now about financial education. There's some really cool tools out there for parents to teach their kids about money. Yes, and Xavier, one thing that I definitely did not get enough education of when I was in school was personal financial planning and budgeting. And in fact, three out of four teens now say that they don't really feel very knowledgeable about money management and are hungry to learn more. Here's where a service like Greenlight comes in. Greenlight is the family finance company on a mission to help parents raise financially smart kids. So there's a debit card and an app designed just for kids and teens to learn to earn, save, spend wisely, and invest. And parents can automate allowance, manage chores, and empower their kids to become investors, really setting them on the path to financial success. 
And with Greenlight plans starting at just $4.99 a month, I think we can all agree that is a wise investment for the whole family. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And it, I think it helps create a conversation between parents, too. But also for parents that maybe don't know much about investing, it can help them get in on that process, too. Absolutely. You can learn at any age. Awesome. These are all such great information, great products, great tips. Trisha, where can we go to learn more? For any of the products or services that I've mentioned today, you can find out more information at dailylounge.com. And we will post a link to their website on our website, 9and10news.com. Trisha, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure. Recording stopped. Awesome. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day. Thank you. You do the same.